American made and Austrian made uh, weapons being found at these hideouts? How do they have such sophisticated weapons? Where are they getting it from? So I, I said the movement of weapons today can take place through drones. It can take place through infiltrating columns. It is not so tough. Time and again, people uh, castigate anybody who's seen the terrain on the line of control will possibly when you stay there 24 by 7, 7 times, 7 days in a, in a week and 365 days in a year, you realize that there is there cannot be a perfect man-made barrier to ensure nothing crosses this side or that side. Mm. There are enough ways and means to bypass systems. So this is not the only way. So sensing is really... No, no, but it's not open. It's you know, a you can just walk in. It's a ah. dead train. So where thousands could come, only one or two comes. Okay. Right. The choice is there. You just can't say either or. Mm -hmm. So it is one way. After all, when the fence came in 2004, mm. the numbers dropped like anything. Yes. The numbers came down to only 20%. There were geopolitical considerations as well. Yes. There is a time global war on terror was happening. Yeah. Uh, the numbers which were available to Pakistan also diminished. The people didn't want to come. In fact, uh, when as a brigade commander somewhere in 2011-12 in, in North Kashmir, the terrorists didn't want to cross. The the Pakistanis had to cut off their uh, monthly paycheck. They used to give about 10,000 rupees every month to, no, 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 you go back to uh, uh, go back to India and carry out actions and all. They were very comfortable living there. They didn't want to come onto this side, especially through that route. So mm. people wanted to come through Nepal, they wanted to cross over, they got married, they got the children, they sent their uh, families inside and thereafter they sought for a certain degree of amnesty and they crossed over. There were certain degree of people who came also across after an amnesty was given by one of the state governments. So the fact is that uh, people didn't want to come. Explain this thing about amnesty. Well, uh, there was a time when it came that uh, surrendered terrorists, mm. you know, we want to get people back into the, uh, to the folds. The numbers were too hard, too large hmm. because everybody was pumped up into the idea of freedom, right? Hmm. They did not realize certainly that it will have a color of religion. It, they always thought that Jammu Kashmir is unique and there will be a support. But slowly after some time, large number of people started getting disenchanted. But they had no options. When you have picked up a weapon and the FIR has been put across with you, you didn't have a choice to become a normal person. So there was a time that there was a general amnesty was given that if you leave your weapon, the case will be dropped, you'll have to serve a reduced sentence or maybe in case you're not committed any criminal act, possibly none at all, mm. and you'll be subsumed into the society. So a large number of, I, I don't have the figure of hand today, okay. but uh, almost in North Kashmir, because actually the people who suffered the most of, most during uh, insurgency or terrorism was the people of North Kashmir. Mm. So actually you will not find much support in North Kashmir to any radical element of terrorist activity. Mm. You will always find some degree of support only in South Kashmir or South of Peach Panchal. That is also, of course, waned a lot. Click here to watch the full episode.